Good morning, everyone. It's Amanda coming at you with another Monday morning motivation. Today's topic is all about handling multiple offers on your home. In today's market, it's not uncommon for sellers to be faced with multiple offers on their home. This can be a very exciting time, but also feel very overwhelming. Your agent will help you navigate through all the different negotiating strategies and pick the best offer for your home. Here are just a couple tips to help you decide which offer might be best for you. Number one, as a seller, you'll need to determine what is most important to you when it comes to selling your home. Accepting the highest offer might not always be the best option. You might need a longer closing period in order to leave room to purchase your next home, or you might be willing to accept a smaller offer because you need a quicker closing time in order to move. Making your list now will save you time when you start receiving those multiple offers and help you weed out the ones that do not fit your needs. Number two, slow down and take your time. Dragging out the negotiation process is perfectly acceptable. If a buyer says they need an answer right away or they're walking, you need to be prepared to let them walk. If they're going to disappear on you because you're asking for a couple days to think it over, they might end up disappearing on you down the line anyways. A quick yes could end up only benefiting the buyer. A good agent will be honest and communicate very well with other agents and keep them informed of a time frame when counteroffers will be submitted or when the seller will be making their decision. Remember, the highest offer doesn't always equal the best offer. I hope these tips might help you or someone you know when it comes time to handling multiple offers. Until then, I'll see you next week for another Monday Morning Motivation.